Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery late in the afternoon. Good morning! And this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas in front of me and I have a sort of a weird plan and I'm going to institute it as quickly as possible. Barring love bugs in our work, I'm going to give... I'm going to make sure I don't have anything on my canvas. I'm going to spread some paint on the top half. I was thinking about doing this a vertical, but I think it's better off if I just do it the way I'm used to it, because I don't have a lot of time, but um, I think this can happen. I'm going to go a little beyond my horizon line. Yeah, I'm going to do a seascape, I think. We shall see. I kind of want to do a blue sky. I'm not sure if I can do the kind of blue sky I want to do, so maybe I will put some white paint into a container and that's not what I had in mind but you know what I'm going to just use whatever what comes to hand and I've got some beautiful blue over here and as long as I can pick it up where are you blue there we go I got it cool so I'm not exactly ring pouring this but I am going to just force it in there and then I'm going to Do it like I do my uh, weedy gardens sort of thing. See what happens when I tilt it. We may get a good sky, we may get nothing I want at all. But I do have this, the uh, OXO omelet turning spatulas which work great to spread paint. And I may do that right now. Because I can always go back and add more paint as long as what's in the sky stays wet. And it doesn't much matter to me right now what's in the sky because that's not my major focus. Blues don't often sell, but I have a feeling that this is going to be an exception to some rules. So that's a pretty simple spatula sky, and I'm going to use all of the paint that I have that I can see that's on my spatula and scrape it right off along the top edge and use my fingers to integrate it briefly. Take a little more, make sure I don't have an edge or any canvas showing. Okay, so next stage of this, we do have a few cells, but that's okay. And I can always, like I said, drag my spatula right through there. I don't necessarily want any hard lines. And I do have some more paint left in my container that'll just add interest at some point in time. So those are not some black, th those aren't bad blue colors and uh, for sky or bad sky. And like I said, I can keep swiping my spatula through there until I like what I've got. And uh, I am, <laughs> look at that, doing what I said I would do. So it doesn't have to be spectacular because I am expecting the bottom, the ocean part of this to be spectacular. And I'm gonna take my little cable, my gas hose cable box and I'm going to give myself permission to do weird stuff. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, using the shovel to make things look like a ring pour because they'll come out striped, but um, I'm gonna do a traveling shovel pour, and I don't think I've ever done that before, and I, I just, I have this picture in my head of what I have ex for an expectation, and I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not, but I'm perfectly willing to try. And I may decide that I want to run um, a skewer or something through the paint. I do need to have enough paint to cover the bottom. I want to use... I watched Heather Matter use some really brilliant green, and I never use my brilliant green, and I think it's time to use some of that because I... That, really? It does not agree with me. <laughs> and that's the lump I got out of there, so... I think, oh, come on. It's been in there too long. Come out now. Okay, well, if I want that, I guess I'm gonna have to unscrew the top. And that's okay. Because that'll get me some extra. Maybe more extra, <laughs> maybe a little more extra than I was expecting. I'm gonna give myself some of the green gold. And since I'm incapable of 
denying myself the uh, purple of the ocean colors. I think that's going in there. This is the Mysterious from Art Minds, and I think the purple is going to make me happy. The question is, is it going to be dark purple? I'm not sure how these stripes are going to turn out, but I am sure that I'm going to ring pour them, so everything else is sort of, yep. Yeah. So I have an edge catcher behind me. I just have to remember not to panic when I can't find it in a moment. Short-term memory loss. Hello, what? All right, so I'm just gonna shovel this. I'm gonna throw that spatula in the bucket. I'm gonna shovel this. Am I gonna put any wet paint down? You know, it would probably behoove me to do so. So maybe I will do that. And I have another print, uh, OXO omelet turning spatula ready. So, you know what? Really? Okay, fine, do that way. We got quite a bit of that now, and that might be great in the sky. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So the OXO omelet turning spatulas are nice when you've got little bits of whatever in your paint because you can usually see it. So I'm kind of counting on being able to remove stuff like that. I'm also thinking that um, the edge catcher will help me flow paint. So I'm expecting to have quite a bit of paint I do want to cover my edges somewhat so I can help paint flow down over them. You can, you can scrape up paint so easily and do whatever you want with it with this spatula. It really is an incredible tool for moving fluid acrylic. It's a deep ocean, what can I say? I want plenty of room to play with this. I may, uh, I might make it mostly ocean. You can never tell. I might add waves. I could do anything. I'm capable of anything. Especially when I tell you one thing and do another. <laughs> that's pretty much my MO. All right, so that's just going to get wiped off so I have an opportunity to use that if I want to. And here goes nothing. Wait a minute. You know what? I just want... Why do I want that in there? I don't know. But I'm going to give it to myself anyway. I kind of want some white in there also, to tell you the truth. And the white pearl is what I'm going to want the most of. Somebody answer the phone. Okay. So, now, do I have enough room? Is all my paint out of the way? I don't know. Here goes nothing. There's my first shovel full. I may layer these over each other. I'm not sure what I'm going to do except for that I am going to be tilting and I'm just scraping the majority of that paint right out of there. Getting as close to the edge as I can without losing any over it. Probably going to go ahead and use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula to take the rest of the paint out of my shovel and out of my pour container shovel goes in the bucket. The sooner you get things into the bucket, the less likely you are to have things you don't want in there. Excuse me. Paint drying on your spatula? Yeah. <laughs> Autopilot kicked in up for a second. Sorry. Now, whatever I flow to the edge, I can also flow back again. I really don't know how this is going to work. That's going in the bucket. I got plenty of those containers around. I troll my trash can. <laughs> All right. Edge catcher, as expected, is over here. Do I want that one? No, I don't. I want another one. Let's see if I can find another one. That will work perfectly. It's not pretty. The sky shouldn't move anywhere. I see that thing that does not belong right now and it's got to go. And no matter what goes on my edge catcher the first time, I'm going to pull it back. I haven't done the water like this before, and I really, really got excited when I started to think about it. And uh, if you're careful, you won't get your sky and your water mixed up, but I think I'm going to have to swipe along the top edge anyway. Do I have enough paint? That is a question we cannot answer quite yet. Come on, edge catcher. Don't fold in the wrong direction. Now, if I have enough paint, I Toward the horizon line, I can pull it down and tip it back in, but we have some really, really beautiful stripes of color in the water. 
and I may not do anything to this. Another time I could do this and maybe, you know, um, use a bamboo skewer and put some, put some waves in. Now, if I get enough paint pooled, I should be able to throw it back. I'm rocking my edge. I should also be able to, if I don't lose my, lose my painting over the edge, I should also be able to take my edge catcher and my OXO armlet turning spatula and pull the paint right off it, pull my, pull my painting right up to the edge, scrape my spatula right off on the edge of that. I'm just going to tap it down. So I have some, some colorful striations in the bottom. It's not imperative. I don't think it's a huge deal. I am going to go ahead and wonder what I'm going to do with that horizon line. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my bamboo skewer dipped in with paint. And I'm just going to keep dipping it and drawing it across so that I get some, some straight lines that remind me of water. I don't think that little bit of purple hurt anything. I kind of want to dip a whole whole big skewer in there and pull it right up to the horizon line. I didn't think that, that far ahead. And if I tilt this so that everything goes up, it's going to change the pattern in the water. And I did this because I thought it would look like water. And it kind of does. Very colorful water. Very surrealistic water. I kind of want to put a horizon line up there that's turquoise. Hopefully I can see through. Oh, please come out. Okay, fine, do that way. No, nope. <laughs> fine. It just can't work perfectly, but it still works. So I'm gonna push my bamboo skewer right through there to try and make a straight line somewhat cautiously and I may tilt that in a moment yep I don't mind the way that looks a bit kind of like it actually makes me want to put more turquoise in there I have a large lump that needs to go away I don't know if you guys can see that stuff or not I love the color of my water it's um it's the star of this show <laughs> for sure oh that big lump might be the star of this show if I'm not careful. So I'm really tempted, even though blues, I often will tell you that blues don't sell, I'm really tempted to find out <laughs> by torching. And since I have to torch anyway, I'm going to roll that down and push it back. And I see that thing that does not belong. Come on out. I can really make the horizon line as tall as I want to. And right at the moment, since I just made a mark up there that I can't get rid of too easily, I'm going to make it wider. And I really like the color that turquoise is along the edge of the sky. And I can just roll, roll my skewer down as long as there's paint on it. All right, that's working for me okay. I think it's definitely time to show you what I've got. It might be time for me to do something else even more so because I'm really enjoying just adding paint. And this comes out a lot cleaner than the turquoise did. And I really like that blue. Do I like it here? Yeah, I like it okay. I've got still got the same skewer. If I can keep my fingers or my paint from going elsewhere. It's a little bit tenuous. Oh! Yep. Okay. And I'm shaking. <laughs> oh well. And I left paint in my way. Oh well, oh well. And there's love bugs. Oh, please don't land on me. <laughs> so, I'm still okay with that. I do have other skewers so I can fix my... No, not in the painting. Please. Now tomorrow, if I think the sky needs something else, I can always come back. But right now, I'm going to wipe off my spatula and give it one more, one more gentle tug so that I can 
decide what I might want to do there right now. I don't mind the spatula marks in the sky. Actually, I, I'm not a big fan of it when, when they're a hard edge on the... Uh, no, stay out of my painting. <laughs> I was going to say vertical. And it is. It's kind of vertical. I do want to drop some more paint in there, actually. I just don't necessarily want it to be... Um... I got a minute left. I see that love bug is trolling. I kind of want some... I want some purple in there so bad. <laughs> I really want to play with the mica powder. Where's my white again? I want this bunch of striations at the horizon line to stop being so evident. Hey, we got nice clouds. Spatula clouds! I love discovering new things that you can do with a spatula. I really do. And I'm good with that. It's just whether I'm good with the one next to it or not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Except for that fingerprint. Okay, well, clouds are going up. Paint is getting a little gloppy there. I want to put some blue or blue at the top. I want to continue to fix my, my gloppy spots. That timer is sneaky. So if you want to help me out, I would appreciate it. That would be awesome. Um, the comments you leave me are fantastic. You, uh, you're funny. <laughs> you're definitely funny. And uh, I, I really respect the appreciation you give me. No, I don't want you in there. Thank you. One more dead love bug. It's not going to hurt anything in the world, for sure. Hooray! Not sure I wanted him there, exactly. Like I said, there's always tomorrow for the sky, and I might decide simple is better. Oh, I do. I want to drop something right in there. I finally found a usefulness for this weird spatula. Because it has a really nice long edge. No, that did not work. Wow. We've got um, strange wumps in the middle of my ocean. Maybe there's, maybe there's an invisible island or some rocks there or something. So I love you guys, and there's over 80,000 of you. We're going on 80,500. And uh, I'm going to drop some more, I don't know what color. Is that going to be weird? I think it might be. I'm not sure I care. What can I say? I love the stripes, stripes of blue in the ocean. I don't know many, too many people who don't. But that's a nice color stripe. I'm going to try and use my same skewer again before you guys are gone, and you'll be gone soon. So check under the video. No love bugs. Come on. Out. You, out. Where are my tweezers? Uh, they distract me every time they land in my artwork. Go figure. So I want to get that line straight, and even if you guys go and I haven't got it straight, it'll be straight when you see it in the thumbnail, because I'm not leaving this until that's straight. So I love you guys. Keep making comments. If you want to uh, be included in the monthly drawing, you should, check the, oops, you should check the end screens for playlists. My channel header has Patreon and PayPal. It's a $10 minimum to donate to get into the, the monthly drawing. For art supplies. Thank you very much for everybody who's contributed in the past. I really appreciate your help. Um, there's Facebook groups you've probably heard of before, and if you haven't, they're there. Uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for uh, for students and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors for fans and collectors. I think I need something dark again there. Wow. Okay, well, it'll be similar. It's not going to be exact. Um, what am I going to put in there? I'm going to put something really dark in there because I want a dark horizon line. So the the mystique or mysterious that comes from Art Minds is going to create my horizon line. Yes, now I'm good. Okay, I love you guys. Uh, check another video for other stuff. Binge watch some of mine. That I appreciate that. If you watch the commercials, that's great. If you give me a thumbs up, that's really nice. Thank you so much. Um, 
I do sell my art.